This is part six on how to DIY build your own battery storage or power wall for emergency. And um, we are going back into continuation today. And um, I've been waiting for other things I want to do. I have a lot of things um, I'm working on. But we want to reflect back into this um, uh, portable power pack we have here, which is uh, with the lithium power mirror batteries. And um, we're working on it right now. If you can see, these are the power mirror batteries. It's a rechargeable lithium power mirror batteries. That's the model number B15169. It's a 3.75 volt and 5,000 milliamp, which is a 5 amp, is 18.75 watt hours. They're already in a series parallel. So these are two modules here. You can see this is one, this is another one. So we have 11 batteries in series. Sorry, yeah. We got them 11s. And um, after that, we have them parallel. So... It's going to give us a 24 volt configuration here. Each stack right here is a 12 volt, 12 volt, and I series it again. So, series parallel for these ba batteries, the individuals. Then, after that, I got 12 volts here, 12 volt there, and sandwich it now to these bus bars right here. And you can see. Um, if you haven't seen the rest of the videos, I will encourage you to go back and watch the series of them. And while I'm going to be showing you today what I got to charge these guys, since I built them, so I put them together, uh, never um, charged them. And this one has a lithium built in in them, um, uh, BMS, sorry. So this is the new thing I have for you guys from Renogy. You know, Renogy has been around one of the uh, faithful um, solar companies that thrive for all since uh, solar was trying to be something again to people here all over the world or um, America. And we've been running on Renogy, making us a little packs, making us a, a power packs, making us... Um, Portable generators, 12 volt panels. That time we can able to afford buying the bigger ones, unless for industrial or big companies, they were doing it. But just for every DIY, I'm I'm truly sure, hundred percent sure. A lot of people went with Hubble Fritz panels, and they started with Hubble Fritz panels, and they started improving, upgrading to um, the energy. Renogy, um, even I, I went through Renogy. My first solar panels after Harbor Freight and Renogy was a new step up, the second upgrade. So I made it all the way through this with 100 watts and 50 watt solar panels, and they were working fantastically, poly and mono. So now we have this guy here, which is um, the Renogy. And here is the model number I'm going to share with you guys. It's not all the fancy fancy, but um, I just want to use this one to do the job. Is The model number is uh, RNG-CTRL-WND10. This is a 12, 24 volt auto, auto, and it's just a 10 amps. I don't need too much to charge these guys. Now it's on 24 volt. It gives me um, uh, 10 amps out. So it's a slow charge. I'm not like um, uh, really, really going crazy with this pack. And you will see the PV input is is 100 and 
130 and um, which is uh, on a 12 volt 24 volt is um, um, you can see that 260 watts 12 volt is 130 24 volt 260 watts so this is not MPPT is a PWM pulse width modulation so but it, it, it works with um, lithium It's made for AGM silet acid and um, uh, lithium ion or lithium batteries the latest technology or the new technology so you can see it can able to use a uh, Bluetooth it has a RS232 um, port and it has a good thing it has uh, 5 volts and um, 2 amps most of, most of the 5 volts ones are just 1 amp what is of a, a 2 amp it's not like the most fastest uh, charging port, which is the 3.0 and better. And it has a light for load. Sorry, it has a load output. It has the battery here and the solar panel. Um, the input of this, let's go back through the manual. I'll show you was the it tolerate because the PWM is not MPPT, which is maximum power point tra tracking. This is just a pulse width modulation. It has a screen on it. It's perfect for the job, and it just everything's supposed to be compact. And um, we're gonna go about and do what we were about to do with this guy right here. Like and subscribe, JW Solar USA. So this is the box that came with it from Renogy and um, Wanderer, ten amp. So it comes with a sticker. Kind of a little nicer stuff you want to peel and stick it just like how you stencil something so this is how it looks like and it comes with um this port you can able to use for bluetooth connectivity that's a barcode right here for warranty um maybe some of you guys already used this before and this is the manual right here let's get these things out of the way is the manual right here so we can go and see I'm gonna show you some of the specs there so here are the specs for this guy right here and let's bring you close so I already highlighted them so the rate of current is 12 uh, 10 sorry the PV is gonna be a 50 volt open circuit so these are all the recommended wires you can use a terminal as a 12 gauge wire and um, can handle that 10 amps and you see seal AGM gel flood and lithium so um, these are all the gauges here they were telling you in parallel series and this is going to be working for the energy panels that I already have which is a 50 watts I have those those flexible panels and um, I'm going to show you all the other stuff here. How to program this guy here. So you, can, you have to come up here and push the select. You connect first the battery. Don't connect the solar. Connect first the battery. Here, the, it powers up. You're going to see it tells, it automatically detects the battery bank you have. And it's going to tell 12 or 24 volts. You press and hold this guide and it's going to give you, it's going to give you, um, select. It's going to go randomly till you see the battery indicator. When you see the battery indicator, then you keep press and hold this. Then you can see it keep changing the batteries, different type of batteries that you're supposed to be using here till you find your specific or your uh, battery uh, chemistry you have is a lithium for us we let it go on lithium push the enter then it's gonna select that's for lithium so this is how the settings and everything and you will see on my initial start start connection I'll video that and show you guys and uh, we can go from there and you can able to program the load for when an auto when the sun is down and all of a sudden the 
give some few seconds then this guy will trigger the lights comes on automatically in your house or whatever you want it to wherever you set it for at your desired location your desirable location so these are all the connections here they tell you how to go about it uh, you have to go with the battery first before the solar then you can have the 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 system up and select your battery and these are all pictures for that and this is what we're going to be doing this is the 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 charging stage or charging algorithm how it's going to work okay so I hope this video makes sense to you guys as we go along, but this is just a little manual that um, came with it, loaded with a lot of information. The Wanderer, this is what it is. Like and subscribe, JW Solar USA. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, we're gonna set up this guy. I have um, 83 watt solar panels. I can able to use two of them in series. And they were just 21 point something, 21.5 or something. And uh, they, they're going to be um, exactly for the specifications I'll show you back here. We're not going to exceed to the 50 volt input. And um, the Renogy panels, they run um, 20.1. 21.0, 21 point something. So when you put them on low, they drop all the way to 18 or whatever. So we, I think we're going to be fine with this. So let's see how everything is going to work or come to play with this guy right here at the JW Solo USA. And uh, stay tuned as... We're going to continue with this project right here. I hope to see you guys on the other video. Like and subscribe and stay tuned. Bye for now.